Now, that was my action. If I got cameras, what is this? What was it? Ah, I gotta get this stuff on it. Gee whiz. I know when I come out here, it's best that I put this stuff on right away. Itch here on my elbow where I got bit. And I don't like the way this Dragon Touch mount works on this thing. It don't work as easy as the GoPro. Oh, man, that is just. Oh, anyhow. Here I am. It's a Oh, you know, there's something going on. Well, there's nothing going on. It's people say some stuff. It don't upset me, but it don't set well with me. They they don't mean anything. I don't think they do, but you know, look, I was, biggest part of my adult life was in business and making fairly decent income. I struggled, but I got, you know, I, didn't, I don't even have a high school education, but I was able have some some of my own businesses and uh, I had people employees that I was signing their paycheck every week and all that but a lot of people a lot of people's got the mindset you got a business and you're paying people to work for you that you got money well that may be true in some instances, and in some instances, it ain't true. You don't... I didn't have a lot of money. I went through a lot of money. And I had payrolls that was running up in thousands every week. But people that see me now that knew me back in the day, say back in the 80s, They seem shocked that I just barely have enough to get along on. And then they say, well, what happened? What happened, Mr. Pearson? Uh, well, when the bottom fell out for me, my answer would be, what happened is, my wife died. And I just, nothing worked anymore. Blue, get over here. Blue, get over here and shut up. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. 
better hush it up. I ain't calling you Diamond. I got a big old tomcat and he thinks he's a puppy. He's a big old baby. He's not been a happy camper since we had his nutters cut. Well, is that right? <laughs> well, we had him fixed. Bless his heart. He's all right. He, he disappeared the other day and he was gone for over a week. We never saw him. We figured He's got run over or something, or somebody's picked him up. But that's not the first time he's disappeared for days like that. But this time he disappeared for a week. But then he comes strolling back in one night. Come to the back door with me on. So I'm thinking he's got a second home somewhere. Of course. He wasn't hungry. Anyway, back to my story. They, I just couldn't function anymore like I used to. Uh, I tell you, God, when you married a, a this one same person for 48 years. I mean, you get up in the mornings, they're there. You go to bed at night, they're there. You get sick, they're there. They take care of you and stuff like that. And you, and you just know that I knew she had my back no matter what. Uh, just the stuff that you don't even really think about that they do you got a spouse you know they do stuff and after 48 years you take it for granted it's there and then all of a sudden she's gone Sometimes I get the feeling like she could just walk in the door, you know, and crawl in the bed, and that ain't gonna happen. The stuff don't work the same when you when you're just that close to somebody, and all of a sudden they're gone. Well, folks that wonder about what happened, well, that's what happened. And I had a couple of businesses that, you know, I was doing when she died. But, and I tell you the truth, I can't remember why I shut them down. I had one that I was doing with my daughter. We were doing uh, styrofoam fabrications for photography props and stuff for different photographers and stuff. And we were selling them on eBay and in other areas we were selling them. And I enjoyed doing it, but... Um, Well, I don't know, it just, but I don't want nobody feeling sorry for me because I'm 78, which I'm past my life expectancy. Uh, I struggle financially, but the stuff gets paid. And my daughter, you know, I lost my son in 86, so, but I still got my daughter. My daughter actually never, never left home. Uh, she's always been there for her 40, 
gosh, is she 49? Holy crap. 49? Gee, wait, let's see. 70. 80, 90. Seventy, eighty, ninety, two thousand, two thousand ten. She's forty nine years old. Holy crap. She's right now fifty. But anyway, I, my daughter's here. She's an old maid. She's never been married. She's got three kids. And I'm thankful she does. She's no maid. <laughs> she don't like for me to call her that, but that's what she is, an old maid. And, uh, but my three grandsons is here. And one sleeps in the bedroom next to mine, the other sleeps in the other bedroom, the other sleeps in the other bedroom. So they're all here. I can go in and talk to them. I can interact with them anytime I want to. I'm, I'm fed a roof over my head. I got internet. I'm piddling around with scrapping and stuff and I enjoy doing it. So really, that wasn't my plans for things like that. I had things I would like to do or would like to have done that I'm not never going to get to do so that, that's just what it is uh, so you know my family and then I got some people that claim me as their grandpa and I got a uh, crazy family too which means if they're my adopted, that means I got a granddaughter that I always wanted. Plus, if I count her two daughters, uh, I got step granddaughters. If that's what you call them, or great, no, great granddaughters. And then a son that she's got. It seems like. Seems like she's got another daughter that's not living with them now. I think she's older. I seem like I heard that somewhere. I'm not sure. And then, uh, three is better 86. They don't call me Grandpa, but they call me Poppy. And that's what everybody calls me is Poppy. My, all my grandsons call me Poppy. Uh, And then I got another girl, she's nine now. This is a guy my daughter was getting ready to get married to. And he had this daughter and they was with us for a while, about a year. And I really got attached to her. I just thought the world of her, you know, that was my granddaughter. But that didn't work out. And when he left, she had left, of course. Um, so, I guess what I'm saying, I got a lot to be thankful for, and I don't like to say or think that I've got a lot that I can't be thankful for, because that's life. That's life. You go through your life, and you, and you, you, you do things. A lot of people say, well, I've I done this and I've done that, but i got no regrets. Well, I can't honestly say that. I do have regrets. There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I dwell on, but i got regrets. You know, mistakes I made, especially financial mistakes I made. Uh, I got regrets that I sent that girl to pick my son up the day he died in that car wreck with her. Uh, I don't 
blame her. It was her fault. <clears throat> but I don't, I don't think hard of her. She made a mistake. And so did the Greyhound bus driver going through there at that speed he went to school zone. But, you know, everybody should have regrets. I know I've got them, and I don't mind saying I've got regrets. And would I change some things? Oh, you bet you I'd change some things. But, <sighs> I, I don't know how, is it going to rain? Yeah, I see it misting now. I was thinking about seeing if I could get that scooter of mine to go over to Publix. I ain't been to Publix in three days now. They're supposed to come fix my scooter in the next few days. I don't know necessarily know when, but uh, <clears throat> but I, I'm I'm pretty much stuck at the house till they get it uh, till they get it you know what uh, something crawl by the way this is a I haven't used this this is an industrial metal cutoff saw it's got a 14 inch blade on it and I caught it on sale, regular 99 bucks at Harbor Freight. They had it reduced to 79. So I'm like, wow. So I get it. And I get this thing set up, or try to get it set up. And guess what? No blade. It doesn't come with the blade. That's not included. And guess what the blade costs? Well, I got two actually, but it wound up costing me $19.99 for a pack of two. <laughs> so I still paid a hundred bucks. But it's worth it, especially if you're scrapping and you, I got some stuff now. You know what? I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me bring this camera over here. I'm lining up with a lot of copper dust. Look at that. And there ain't a thing I can do about it. <laughs> ain't nothing I can do about it. Ain't no way you can... I don't think you can sell it. Anyhow. Don't take long to whack through it, I tell you that. I don't know how long this cable is, but it, it, it. Oh. it it's long. But no, this thing sure comes in handy. Oh. Uh, for cutting up stuff, you know, and, and Cause I got some aluminum stuff. I got something here, matter of fact. I think this thing's aluminum. I know parts of it are. Cut that up too. Oh, I need my chair over here. I gotta sit down. Lord have mercy. thing up I don't know what it's for though it, it's got to be something for something 
I wonder if that's an extension. It might be. It might be, but it's aluminum. I'm cutting it up. Definitely want to clamp this stuff down because it goes flopping around while you're running, you might could get hurt. <laughs> This out while I'm thinking about it. It's got to be aluminum. Well, it ain't sooner or later I'll hurt myself. It's sooner or later I'll hurt myself again. <laughs> Cause, see this hand right here? See how that finger bows up there? I can't get it straight. And had I had gloves on when I did that, I wouldn't have. That finger wouldn't have got bent back like that, but boy, it did. And I've got scars. I don't guess the camera can pick them up, but I got scars all over the place that you can, you can uh, see. I, I've got a place on my leg. <laughs> boy, I, <laughs> I had a piece of metal. I had my little side, my angle, uh, metal cutter, it's just a small with a four inch wheel on it. And I'm sitting there and I got a pair of my overalls on. I still got them suckers with that hole in it. But I'm sitting there and I'm holding that. Let me put the camera down there where you can see. I'm holding that piece of metal. Kind of like this. And I'm sitting there trying to cut it and hold it up and I'm cutting it in half and I was getting it done and all of a sudden it went through faster than I figured 
It not only did it go through that piece of metal, it went through this my pants, my overalls, and made a nice curved uh, cut on my leg. I mean, ooh, that hurt. It stung, it burnt. It wasn't like a thud pain. It was a burning pain. I mean, that sucker was... And I still got a scar on my leg. I'll have to take a picture of it one day and show you. <laughs> I didn't hold nothing with that cutter anymore like that. I made sure it was secure and I was out of harm's way. Good Lord, that hurt. Anyhow, back to the task at hand. I'll set it over here now more solid. I'm still cutting on this. You know, I could not go out for a week or more and just stay busy with this stuff. Uh, how am I going to do this? I guess I could do it like that. Cause I'm thinking this this piece here is aluminum, but I'm thinking it runs up in there a little bit, and it's probably solid. Let me get my walk right away. Solid piece, ooh, hot, 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 hot. Solid piece of aluminum. Oh, ow, ouch. Well, I'll show you this too, and that's solid from that too. So, but I'll have to take these. These are grips of some kind. I wonder what this was for. But you know what? I get a lot of stuff I don't know what it's for. A lot. See that that's copper, but the wires in there—they're coated with something else too, and I don't know what it is. So I'm thinking, why don't I just leave it like that? I mean, it is solid copper, but let me get a piece of that. Show you what I'm talking about. Somewhere. Okay, this is one of the smaller cables. Now, see see the end of that? Looks like solid copper. Well, it is solid copper. But when you cut it open to strip it, it's still copper, but as you can see, it's coated with something else. And I don't know what. I don't know what it is. Is it coated with nickel or? But the wire is copper.
And I'm thinking if I took it in there like strip like that, they're not going to give me a good price. I'm thinking I might get a better price. Let me, let me take this one loose. See, it looks like solid copper. Then you take the stuff off, and it's got this silver, shiny stuff on it. So I don't know. I could take this piece of scrap, but I don't want to give them a heads up on it. But, as you can see, Copper, copper. So, is any one of you expert? You know what trouble is with scrappers? We all, every one of us, thinks we're experts, but we ain't. We are not experts. And we fall into that thing, we think we're expert and we're not. Because so many times I've come up with a piece of something and they couldn't tell me what it was. Man, that thing's holding the heat. But, I don't know. We're not experts. That's, that's going to be a lot of cutting, man. There's that piece. I need to cut that. Well, I won't mess with that right now. I'm not going to waste all y'all's time showing you this because it's, it's going to take me probably an hour or two to cut this but I just want to show you what I was doing. But, you know, I could sit here and cut it and then put it on high speed. But to me, that's kind of, when it's on high speed like it, all you can do is see it's going real fast. But you really can't see what they're doing. You, you know, you can't make nothing out of it. So I don't, I'd rather not see high speed. I'd rather see it in real speed. As long as it ain't gonna take too long. This is gonna take, I've got quite a bit of copper down there I've got to do. Um, I've got a, oh, I'm not another piece. A lot of people say you're wasting your money with these things if you're scrapping, but you know, when you don't have a big truck to, uh, Put your stuff in. See, when I go, I have to go in the car and I like my stuff to be small where I'm standing on in in my little buckets. And that's, I can cut all this stuff a lot 
course, this aluminum. <laughs> It makes quick work out of it. I didn't even have the camera pointed out that. Now, let me show you again. It, it goes, it goes quick. But, as you can see there, When you got real long pieces extruded like that, you don't have to clamp it down. You can, you can actually hold it. And um, I'll show you. The only thing now, I should have gloves on. What happens there, it heats up, uh, heats up a little bit. If it was thicker, it'd be harder than that, but, and, and I've got quite a bit of extruded I need to cut up, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, uh, waste y'all's time. I mean, you've seen it up here. Oh. Uh, and I've got a lot of, Got a lot of brass pieces. They're kind of big. I don't know where to cut them things up. I hate cutting up stuff that's good. You know, it's it's. Well, let me show you. Well, what I've got here. I get stuff that, uh, where's my walker? Come over here. I hate, you know, I hate to scrap stuff like that. You know, I get, I've got several of these. They're brass. Where does that say that's made? It's got a little sticker on it. It is made. Solid brass, handmade in India. Solid brass, handmade in India. Uh, we don't have a stick. This don't have it. Well, yeah, it does. Made in India. Solid brass. Now, in this piece, this brass, and that has. This was made in Korea. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if you can see, but it's got a deer embossed in the bottom of that. But I just hate to scrap stuff like this. I mean, It's very, that thing screws on there. They come apart. I wonder if that does. Yeah, it does. Solid brass. What do you think? YouTube family, should I scrap it or should I, you know, I've started doing some little things on my channel. I'm going to do a couple of items a month. Right now, I got a collection of Betty Boot purses that I'm giving away. I, I did it on one video and told them, if you want it, leave your name and you know, leave a comment that you want the Betty Boop. And if there's only one person that wants it, they get it. But if there's more than one, I'm going to have a drawing. Well, I could do that on this stuff. 
Matter of fact, I could bra clean this up with brass cleaner. If people's interested in it, you know, you never know till you try. I can't afford to give away $25 gift cards and stuff like that. I mean, $25, that's like, that's like $100 would be to you. You know, if you're working a job and stuff. $25 to me, that is, let's see, I got a hundred and fifty dollars expendable income so 25 would be a fourth uh what would it be i can't even think it's more than the fourth it'd probably be about a fifth of my expendable income let's see five times 25 and uh no it'd be more than that it would not be a fifth it would be like a six something like that I can't remember, I don't have a high school education. I mean, I'm fairly good with math, and I was. I'm not anymore. I can't even... These new comp uh, 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 calculators, I can't even figure out how to work the darn things. They did, like, if I want to divide something, it's not got a division symbol on there. It's got something else that I don't recognize. What do you think? Uh, my viewers, should I do some giveaways? I believe I will. I don't even, I, I don't even need your question. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clean these up. I'm gonna, I got sets, you know, it's like two in a set. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, my next giveaway is gonna be on some brass. And I've got, you know, you know, in Russia, they make this doll, and it stands about, I don't know, 10 inches high, and it's in two parts. It screws together. It's out of wood, and it's got all this paint, hand painting and stuff on it, and I forget what they call it, but you take that doll apart and there's another doll in there just a little bit smaller than that one and then you take that one apart and there's another one in that and this one goes down to a doll that's only about that big but guess what inside that one there's another little one uh, I don't know if they're expensive or not Blue get over here what are you doing out there Huh? What you doing out there? What are you doing, baby? Go out there and... I'm, we got coyotes around here in the back, in the woods. It's fenced off, but I'm scared to death a coyote will get her, figure out a way to get her. But those dolls, I think there's seven dolls. And I found that, uh, can't remember if I got it out of the dumpster or some curbside trash. I bet it was curbside trash. I may even put that up for a giveaway. Oh. Uh, what else have I got? You know, it can't be real big. I got some big stuff, but you can't ship that. I can't ship it. Oh. Uh, so I may start doing a, one or two giveaways a month. Yeah, I got a lot of small stuff that some people would like to have. And the fact that it's trash picking it come out of the garbage and we saved it from the landfill. Had I not got some of that stuff, that's exactly where it would have wound up, in the landfill. Okay, folks. That's... <sighs> that's my story, I guess, and I'm sticking to it. I reckon now. GoPro, don't give me no problem.
Did you hear me say that? I said, don't give me any problem and damn, it turned off. So it ain't understanding what I say sometimes. GoPro turn off, I mean, no, 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 no. You gotta do it. You, you can't turn it off if it's recording with voice command. You have to voice command it to stop recording and then you have to voice command for it to turn off. So GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> you sucker. <laughs> oh, man. I almost wish, I wish I could get my remote working for that, but I don't know how to power it up. I can't get my brain wrapped around it. That's why I like this one. That one, the remote just works straight off. Okay, where am I? Oh, okay. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>